Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about that how we can use Burp Suite as an attacking tool by using Burp Suite Intruder. So Burp Suite Intruder tab you can see over here is used in order to crack various login forms to find out passwords by using some attacks like brute force attacks, dictionary attacks. So you can see over here that Burp Suite can also be used to crack passwords and in order to do automatic method tampering. So you can see over here that we can select positions in our request. Let's say there is one get request or there is one post request which is sending like email and password. So what else we can do? We can actually select the positions like let's say we selected email and a password. Then what we have to do, we can actually select a payload and let's say brute force. We can just make a numbers and we can just click on attack. So what happen is then our Bob suite will send multiple requests to that web application but with that parameters email and password will be changed in each request. So you can see over here that we can use Bob suite for brute force attacks like simple list, numbers, null payloads etc. Now let's see how we can use this Bob suite as an attacking tool in our system. Now let's use intruder tab in order to send multiple requests with different payloads in Bob suite. So you can see over here that our OS broken web application is up and running. So let's just check its IP address. Its IP address is 192.168.0.160. And you can see over here that my Bob Suite free edition is up and running. So let's configure our Firefox proxy settings. Click on manual proxy configuration. Okay and let me just open that IP address and you will see here that Firefox starts blinking. So let's say let's open this OS Mutilide web application. So you can see over here a get request. Let me forward this request. And on the left hand side you will see a different o and on the left hand side you will see different OWASP vulnerabilities list. So for this challenge or for this intruder tab Let's just select different one. Let's say authentication bypass via brute force and login. And let's forward this request. So you can see over here that here is a username and a password field and it's saying please sign in. So what we have to do, we just have to register over here or we just somehow we have to sign in. So first of all, uh, let's just write here demo credentials like demo and password will be password and let's just click on login. And you can see the entire request. It's a post request that's going to mutually day and the page is login.php and you can see the parameters which is being passed and that are username and password. So as I told you earlier that with the help of intruder tab, we can actually send multiple requests with multiple payloads. Like we can even do password cracking techniques like uh, we can do brute force attack, cluster bomb, spider attack. We will see that how we can do that. So first of all, in order to send any request to intruder tab, we just have to right click and let's just send this request to intruder. And you will see here that this intruder tab will start blinking. And you can see over here that right now this request is a second request. I think I already have one request. Let me just delete it. So this is the request which is we have sent to the intruder tab. So you can see over here a, tar a sub tab is a target tab, positions, payloads and options. So the target is what is actually our uh, remote host or a website name and the port is 80 and positions tab will tell us that what are the positions which will be dynamically changed. So let's say you can see over here there are some fields which is automatically selected by this intruder tab. So what else first we have to do we just have to clear all the fields by clicking over here clear. So now we have to find out that what parameter or which thing we have to change in each request. Let's say we just want to change this username again and again means we will send 10 or 15 multiple requests and in that multiple request the request will be same but the username will be different. So what we have to do we have to select that thing and we have to click on add so that we can actually add this. So this you can see over here that here is our marker or let's say selection point and at the top you can see over here attack type. 
So there are different attack types in Bob Suite. So the one is Sniper, Blattering Ram, Pitchfork, Cluster Bomb. So I'll tell you about all of them one by one. So first of all, uh, let the attack type will be Sniper. And then the next important thing we have to do is we have to select a payload. So you can see over here, let's go to the payloads and here you can see payload set. So right now there is only one payload set, which means we have only selected one location. So that's why it's saying payload one. When I will select two location, then it will show payload one and two. So you can see over here that by default payload set is one means we are selecting the payload for this field only. And you can see over here payload type. So payload type will tell us that what kind of attack we want to do. Whether we want to uh, send a simple list, runtime file, uh, whether we want to brute force it, whether we want to send it. So let's say brute force. So the main motive, so my main motive in this video is to show you that how actually we can use Burp Suite Intruder tab. My motive is not to show you that how we can find out these silly passwords. So my just motive is that I can show you that how you can use different payload types in this Intruder tab. So you can see over here that we have selected payload type brute force and here is the brute force options. So you can see over here that there is a long characters including the numbers. So let's say we want only like three characters A, B, C and let's say that numbers will be a, a b c one two three and the minimum length we want is five and maximum we want is seven now what kind of payload will be made by our bob suite so i'll show you in a bit later and the one more thing we have to do is when you scroll down here you can see a payload encoding option so we always have to remove this equals to sign before we start any intruder tag before we start any intruder attack. So you can see over here that I have removed that equals to sign. Now everything looks perfect. So let me just click on intruder and let's just start this attack. And you can see over here that our intruder attack is started and now our Bob suite is sending multiple requests. So you can see over here the request ID, you can see a payload, you can see a status, you can see a length. So let's say let's select this one and you can see over here a full request is same but a username is different. Similarly, let's just scroll down and you can see all the payload type that is 3 1 uh, it's a triple A so you can see over here 3 1 triple A. So similarly you can actually check out the response that what kind of response it's giving to us. So this is how we can actually use brute force attack by using Bob Suite Intruder. Now let's say, let's just uh, pause this attack and let me close this up. Let's just go back. And instead of using like brute force, let me show you that what else we can do. Let's just go back to the payload option. So there are different payloads options. The one is simple list. So in this simple list, uh, let's say you have a dictionary file which contains thousands of passwords or thousands of username. So what you can do, you can actually click on load and then you can actually load that file. And then what Burp Suite will do, the Burp Suite will pick one a name and pick one password from that file and will attach that username and password with our this request and will send back to our web application. But the thing to be noticed is that we can only load all these files add from a list and that is only available for pro version. So let's say we can actually add a manual also like uh, let's say our username will be John admin let's say anything you can write here Ted and let's just go back intruder start attack and you can see over here now this time our Bob Suite Intruder have used these payloads instead of using brute force. So you can see over here the request so username is John and username is admin username is kill. But the thing to be noticed is that how you will differentiate whether our payload is correct or not. So there are different different fields which you can look out. So the one is length. So you can see over here that the length is same. And you can see over here status that is 200 
that is okay and even we can check out its response click on render and you can see over here that we are still on that login screen but the thing to be noticed is that have you seen this the status so the status is 302 which might be a redirection and you can see over here that the length is also changed so this gives us an idea that this payload is correct so if I scroll up you can see over here that we are logged in you can see over here logged in user John and let me show you the request so the request was like this username John and the password is password so you can see over here that how poor this password is being set by this user that the password is very poor just simple password so very easy so this is how we can use Bob Suite intruder tab in order to send multiple names by using a list file so what else we can do first of all let me just close this up so instead of using this we can actually send a different numbers let's say let me select numbers so the from is from where you want to start let's say you want to start it from 100 thousand to let it be 2000 and the steps will define how many requests you want to send so if I just write here one you can see over here that the total payload count is 1001 which means the total request which is being sent by our Bob Suite intruder will be 1001 so let's say 2 and it's now 501 means after two steps our Bob Suite will send that request and let me just go to intruder tab and let's just start this attack and you can see over here the payloads which is being sent but these payloads now in the place of username and at the bottom you can see the number of requests which is being sent by our Bob Suite. So these kind of attacks like brute force and these uh, number list is actually used where you have to send multiple requests with different session IDs, auth tokens and cookies. So this is how we can use intruder tab in order to send multiple requests by using different payload option like brute force, numbers, dates, list and words. So in this video we saw that how we can use Bob Suite intruder tab in order to send multiple requests by using different payloads. So thanks for watching this video.